Dinosaurs were the undisputed rulers of the Earth for about 135 million years. They might still be today if it hadn't been for a cataclysmic comet that slammed into the Earth 65 million years ago. However, our planet has been around for a lot longer than the dinosaurs' reign, and as it turns out, nature has been quite adept at producing nightmare-inducing monsters other than dinosaurs. It would be a huge mistake to believe that dinosaurs are the only terrifying creatures from our prehistoric past. In this video, we will look at 10 prehistoric creatures, ranging from ocean dwellers far larger than great white sharks, to sky dwellers larger than giraffes, to an elephant-sized sloth. Thylacolio, also known as the marsupial lion, is an extinct species of carnivorous marsupial mammal that lived in Australia from the early to the late Pleistocene. Measurements taken from several specimens show that they averaged 101 to 130 kilograms, 223 to 287 pounds in weight, although individuals as large as 124 to 160 kilograms, 273 to 353 pounds, might not have been uncommon. This would make it comparable to female lions and female tigers in general size. The animal was extremely robust with powerfully built jaws and very strong forelimbs. It possessed retractable claws, a unique trait among marsupials. This would have allowed the claws to remain sharp by protecting them from being worn down on hard surfaces. The claws were well suited to securing prey and for climbing trees. The marsupial lion's limb proportions and muscle mass distribution indicate that, although it was a powerful animal, it was not a particularly fast runner. Paleontologists conjecture that it was an ambush predator, either sneaking up and then leaping upon its prey, or dropping down on it from overhanging tree branches. Titanoboa Titanoboa, the enormous serpent of legend, thrived in the tropical jungles of South America some five million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs. The death of the giant reptiles left a vacuum at the top of the food chain, and Titanoboa gladly stepped up. This prehistoric species grew up to 50 feet in length and weighed as much as 2,500 pounds. That's as long as a semi-trailer you see on highways and about twice as heavy as a polar bear. At its thickest point, Titanoboa was three feet wide, which is longer than a human arm. Titanoboa blended right in with the hot, humid jungle, its brown skin providing perfect camouflage as it slithered through muddy waters. Some scientists believe it killed its prey by constricting and asphyxiating it, while others argue that despite its resemblance to a boa constrictor, it acted more like an anaconda lurking in the shadows and striking unsuspecting animals with a stunning blow. Liopleurodon During the great age of reptiles when dinosaurs ruled the land, there were also fantastic saurians in the seas. Among the largest was Liopleurodon, a 23-foot marine reptile that swam the Jurassic Seas more than 145 million years ago. While many members of the plesiosaur family had small heads and long necks, Liopleurodon belonged to a subgroup with big heads and short necks that allowed the carnivore to hunt large prey. Marine crocodiles like the giant fish Leedsichthys, Ichthyosaurs, and even other pleosaurs would have been vulnerable to attack because of their long jaws and rows of needle-sharp teeth. The nose of Liopleurodon allowed it to smell underwater, this enabled Liopleurodon to detect its prey from a considerable distance. Smilodon The ever-popular saber-toothed tiger, Smilodon, is one of the most famous prehistoric predators and also one of the most formidable. At least three species were living in both North and South America. The smallest species, Smilodon gracilis, was about the size of a modern-day jaguar, while Smilodon fatalis was as big as a lion. However, the South American species Smilodon populator dwarfed both of them, weighing 300 kilograms, 661 pounds, on average, and reaching up to 500 kilograms, 1,102 pounds when fully grown. Smilodon was not as agile as modern-day big cats, but it was immensely powerful, with thicker, stronger limbs and neck than modern-day cats, and particularly long claws to hold on to prey. 
Its fangs could reach 30 centimeters, 12 inches in length, and were perfect for causing mortal injury to mammoths, ground sloths, and possibly any large animal unlucky enough to be ambushed by this super predator. Sarcosuchus Sarcosuchus was a Cretaceous crocodile-like reptile that lived in what is now Africa and South America. It was 40 feet long and weighed 10 tons. When a predator can move between land and water, it's even more difficult to get away from it when it wants to eat you. It possessed a 6-foot-long skull with 132 teeth. The fact that Sarcosuchus was larger than almost all of the dinosaurs that lived in the same environment and evidence of a diet that included large terrestrial prey, puts it in the top 10 list. Indeed, its diet consisted largely of fish, and it spent most of its time submerged in the water. But the fact that it could take down something like Suchomimus at all is troubling. Short-Faced Bear Although the cave bear gets more attention, the giant short-faced bear was the more serious Ursine menace of Pleistocene North America. This bear could run at 30 or 40 miles per hour, at least in short sprints, and could rear up to its full height of 12 or 13 feet to intimidate prey. Unlike the cave bear, the short-faced bear preferred meat to vegetables. Still, it isn't known if the giant short-faced bear actively hunted its meals or was a scavenger, harvesting the kill of other, smaller Pleistocene predators. Simba Kubwa Kutoka Africa while the Smilodon and others on this list may be more well-known, a new species finally identified in 2019 now reigns as the largest of the prehistoric cats. Originally, based on the size of the jaw and teeth, the fossil remains were believed to have been a species of great ape. Significantly larger than a tiger, lion, or polar bear with a skull comparable with a rhinoceros, this ancient predator cat, known as Simba Kuba Kutoka Africa, wasn't discovered in the field, but in a long-neglected museum drawer. Two paleontologists from Ohio University found the new species of the large mammal at the National Museums of Kenya. Simba Kubwa Kutoka Africa, which means big lion from Africa in Swahili, belongs to a long-extinct group of some of the largest meat-eating land mammals known as hyena lurine hyenodonts, which roamed Earth about 22 million years ago. Despite the name, this animal is not a lion or related to the cats. Instead, it is a member of a group of mammals who had teeth closely resembling a hyena, even though they are also unrelated. Based on its massive teeth, scientists estimate that the big cat weighed about 1,308 kilograms, 1,888 pounds. Quetzalcoatlus Despite being featured in every dinosaur movie and TV show ever, the pterodactyl was not a dinosaur. It was a pterosaur, a completely different order from the dinosaurs. Quetzalcoatlus lived during the late Cretaceous and resided in North America. The first Quetzalcoatlus fossil was discovered in 1975. Named for the Aztec deity Quetzalcoatl, a mythical feathered serpent, Quetzalcoatlus has much in common with its namesake. Its appearance is quite distinct, with an oversized head and beak, colorful rounded crest, a long, thin neck, and strangely proportioned legs and wings. It may be the largest flying creature ever to have lived, with a wingspan reaching nearly 40 feet. It was approximately 18 feet long and probably weighed around 250 to 300 pounds. That means that it weighed more than an average human male and had a wingspan that is three times greater than a great white pelican. Megatherium a sloth isn't exactly the first thing that comes to mind when thinking of deadly monsters. But the Megatherium was more like the modern sloth's giant, angry grandpa. It behaved like a sloth, sort of looked like a bear, and was about the size of an elephant. They were equipped with large claws and teeth. The latter was confined to the sides of the jaw because the animal fed largely on the leaves of trees and bushes. Ground sloths appeared briefly in North America during the Pleistocene Epoch when a land connection was established between the American continents. Megalodon This 59-foot shark lived and hunted in the same waters as Liviatin melvilli. 
It had massive seven-foot-wide jaws containing five rows of around 276 compressed, blade-like teeth that were made for cutting and grasping powerful prey. Sharks have skeletons made of cartilage that are not typically preserved in the fossil record, and so the jaws of Megalodon and a few trace fossils are all paleontologists have to build their hypotheses. The body shape of a Megalodon is likely similar to a larger and more robust great white shark. If Megalodon exhibited ambush hunting behavior like great white sharks, it would have taken prey by surprise from below and made precision strikes to immobilize its prey with an amazingly strong bite. Sharks are also known for shaking their prey side to side to increase bite forces. Fossil evidence of teeth marks found on whale vertebrae suggests that the Megalodon was an active predator of large whales. Their teeth were built with a structure that would rarely crack even if they hit bone. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.